Hi and welcome to Old School Rhythm and Blues Guitar. It is time for the bass rhythm or bass line, bass guitar line, guitar bass line lesson for the months of October through December 2018. As part of my Christmas holiday special, we're going to take a look at the neat little bass line that's played in a song called Backdoor Santa by Clarence Carter. Recorded as far as I know at Muscle Shoals Studio or Fame Studios in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. And I listen to this stuff and I don't know for sure exactly what the guitar is playing on this, if there's one guitar or two guitars, as I do in all my videos here on this channel in Old School Blues Guitar, I'm just going to show you what I think is going on. And then if any of you guys know something different, let's hear it and let's figure this out together. So uh, Backdoor Santa, it's in the key of F. And as far as I can tell, the main guitar line, if I'm playing this all on one guitar, this is what I hear going on throughout the, the main verses of the song. And then there's a bridge part that we'll learn too. So here's the first part. like that and I can't hear it for sure and I don't know if he's playing the F here like I was or maybe here as a D shaped what I'm doing is playing a second position F bar chord and I'm kind of doubling up on the power chord part on the fifth and the fourth and the fifth string and I'm getting that chop and cutting it off by letting up with my left right hand I'm sorry, muting with my right hand, palm, and then letting up with my left hand, fingers. Something close to that. And then a little bass line. What I hear is very quickly going from the 8th fret of the 6th string, twice on the 6th fret of the 5th string, back to the 6th string, and then 8-6 on the 5th string. Something like that. That's what I got in my head right now. That may not be exactly how he plays it on the tune, but that's pretty close. That's the idea. So that's over the one when he's playing in the F bar. And when he goes to the four, we're going to switch to an A flat, or actually a B flat seventh chord. I'm just making the bar chord. I don't know if he uses the F-shaped chord or whoever was playing guitar did something different. But for me, listening to it, it sounds pretty close to this chord shape. And it makes it easy to get right into that bass part. So I do the same thing. You know, a couple strokes and then the down, down chop. Now I'm going from the 8th fret of the 5th string to the 6th fret of the 4th string. 8-6. Back to the 5th fret, sorry. 8-6. So that whole lick over the 4. It goes back to the 1. And then we're going to the C7th. That's our 5 using the exact same chord shape that I used here over the four. Then to the four. Back to the one. And as far as I can tell, listening to it, there's a lot going on in that song with Clarence Carter singing and the other instruments going. It's kind of hard to hear the whole guitar part at any one point in the song. But that's... It's kind of a neat groove, feels good to me playing it, so maybe that's pretty close to what he was doing. And then there's this bridge part where he does something a little different, it goes like this. And that's when he's singing the that bridge part, he stays on the one, so it's all on the F, and I'm going from the F 
to an E flat. And then doing this little bass roll, going from the 6th to the 8th. Hammer on, 6th to the 8th on the 6th string. And then coming out on the 6th fret of the 5th string. So we got this. And if you listen to the record, I think that's pretty close to what he's playing, or whatever he's playing is following those same chord shapes. So there you have the rhythm guitar part for Clarence Carter's Backdoor Santa, one of the classic Christmas soul songs of the late 60s. And as far as I can tell, that's how he plays the guitar on it. And I've seen some other people playing this in performance videos on YouTube and also not really in instructional videos, but just kind of showing themselves playing it. And I don't think they're, they're playing it according to the original. And that's okay. But if you want to play it like it was played on the original recording in the 60s by Clarence Carter, I think this is pretty close. And if it's not exactly right, this is enough to get you started figuring it out. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will be back again in about three months with some more old school rhythm and blues guitar lessons, including one showing some cool bass figures that the guitar players played on these, these great songs from the 50s, 60s. See you then.